Welcome to InfoSource, a presentation of Berkshire Healthcare Systems, a not-for-profit system of post-acute healthcare services, including long-term care, short-term rehabilitation, independent living, assisted living, memory care programs, and hospice services available to our neighbors and families here in the Berkshires and beyond. I'm your host, Rachel Colasino, and my guests for today's show are Debbie Richardson, Vice President of Talent Management for Berkshire Healthcare Systems, and Mary-Kate Bryant-Palmer and Estelle Jones, two winners of Berkshire Healthcare's prestigious award, Profiles in Care. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. So today we are going to discuss the Profiles in Care Awards program, which is a very special way that Berkshire Healthcare uh, recognizes staff. And we just held our 2012 awards ceremony in March at the Marriott in Springfield. So I am joined here with two award winners. This is Mary Kate Bryant Palmer, and you're an LPN at Hillcrest Commons, mm -hmm. and Estelle Jones, a certified nursing assistant mm -hmm. also at Hillcrest Commons, and Debbie Richardson, the Vice President of Talent Management for Berkshire Healthcare, who oversees the Profiles and Care Awards program. So, Debbie, I'm going to start with you. Can you give us a description of Profiles and Care? Well, it's a wonderful program that we have in place that's aimed at recognizing, you know, our staffs who are role modeling or living the, the our mission, vision, and values, um, as well as. Um, recognizing the staff who really improve or have an effect on the quality of life or quality of care of the residents or enhance um, employee relations or employee morale. So this year, um, Estelle and Mary Kate were two of the 41 winners that we had um, that were nominated either by uh, coworkers, residents, um, family members, and um, they, they, they had this elaborate ceremony at the Marriott in Springfield, like you already mentioned. Great. And um, from what I understand, Berkshire Healthcare is looking to recognize staff members who really exemplify the organization's mission, vision, and values. And that's what we look for when we're looking for award winners like Mary Kate and Estelle. You're, you're absolutely right. And they, the whole nomination process and the review process is pretty rigorous because we. We, it's hard to, to, to select the winners, but there's a lot of great stories out there, and it's obvious that our, our values are in action. Great. So how did Profiles in Care start, and what was the thinking behind it? Well, it was started six years ago. Um, my predecessor, Tricia Bragdon, uh, had the idea, and we have continued with this program because we believe that recognition is just so important to our success, our success as an organization. It uh, helps build our culture, you know, our, the growth of our culture, it builds relationships, and it really um, helps us improve performance across the organization. And so Mary-Kate, I want to find out, how did you find out that you had been nominated for the award, and then how did you find out, find out that you had actually won? Uh, Sean Kennedy, our Assistant Director of Nursing, came to me and said that I had been nominated, um, that he had received a lot of uh, complimentary um, things that from patients and family members and even from staff and uh, then he came to me a couple of weeks later and asked me to come down with him and uh, I walked down toward the nurse's station and there were a lot of people following us and then he presented me with um, a gift and he read the nomination letter in front of the patients and uh, my co-workers and that's how I found out. How did you feel when you found out that you had won? I was really excited. Um, I was humbled and um, really grateful that they took the time uh, to recognize me individually for my contribution. Great. And um, what were you nominated for, Mary Kate? Uh, my ability to heal wounds and to help uh, patients feel comfortable uh, in the new environment and um, just for uh, the contribution as far as um, getting staff on board as well and um, making, making some good changes, yeah, positive changes. And I, I read your nomination. I understand, too, that not only do you have a great sense of humor, which is what your patients were responding yeah. to, but you make wound healing as painless as possible. And a lot of people had mentioned that as well. Yes. I do try to do that. It's very important to healing for them to be uh, calm and, uh, and laughing yeah, to, too. <laughs> and laughing, yeah, and to know that there's an end in sight that they won't feel that way forever. So, 
Thank you. And Estelle, how did you find, we actually have Estelle's award here first, which I, I want to make sure that we look at, which is beautiful. It's crystal. Um, and all of the award winners received these. But um, Estelle, how did you find out that you had been nominated? And how did you find out that you'd won? Um, my unit manager, Carol, came and told me. She said, Estelle, you were nominated for the profile in Carol. I said, really? She said, yeah. And I said, oh, you know. I didn't really think too much of it then. You know, I went about my work and stuff. And then uh, maybe a few weeks or so down the line, she came and she said, Estelle, she says, I need you to come up front. She says, I need everybody up front. You know, she played it off. So <laughs> I went up and there was everybody there and they had balloons and everything. And she read me my, the letter, you know, and um, of course I was very tearful. Because <laughs> that's, that's what I do, I, I tear up because it's, you know, it's the greatest thing ever. Your job is really, to me, it's self-rewarding in itself. But to get nominated and have that happen, it's the best thing in the world that could ever happen to you on your job. So it was great. And I heard a funny story that you were on your way to the nurse's station to find oh. out that you had won the award. And you stopped to help a resident instead of right, continuing on. That's our job. You see a bell on, you go answer it. So. And um, Estelle, what were you nominated for? Um, taking care of the residents, going that extra mile, always wanting to push a little more to make sure that, that they can do, you know, what they should be doing and helping my coworkers, you know, just being as helpful as I can, just being there. I think, <laughs> Debbie, we have talked before that one of the difficulties in, in nominating and honoring employees like Mary Kate and Estelle is that they're very humble and they just think you know we're doing our job and this mm -hmm. is what we're supposed mm -hmm. to do but this is a way to show them that they're special employees and that we want to honor them because what they're doing is special mm -hmm. so I know it's been hard for you to talk about what makes you special right. people but but um, doing a nice job so I want to talk about the ceremony because it is such a special night mm -hmm. and the ceremony for the 2012 winners like Mary Kate and Estelle was held late March at the Marriott in Springfield so um, Debbie what does that look like well the invited guests usually arrive between five and six and it gives us an opportunity to mingle with the um, with the guests and their families and uh, get to know them a little bit during a you know reception and then at 6 o'clock, we go into the ballroom there at the Marriott. And there's usually close to 300 people in attendance. So it's, it's a big event. And right after dinner, Bill Jones uh, usually gets up and says a few words and welcomes people. The president of the Berkshire Healthcare. President, yes. And uh, this year, we were, we were honored to have our current chairman of the board, um, you know, Catherine May, who was able, was able to you know, say a few words as well. And we also had our, pre, our uh, former Board of, uh, board of Directors there as well, Carmen Massiano. So that was great to have him there as well. Um, and then I have the pleasure of reading the stories, um, reading the, the, the stories and making the connections for everybody there to hear about the wonderful things that all their award recipients have done. And um, while I'm speaking, there's a slideshow going on of them in action. So the everybody there can see different pictures of them with their patients, with their coworkers, with family members, um, and 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 um, you know it's a nice nice way of just seeing them in action. And then after um, I speak, they come up on stage, they receive their beautiful um, award, and get to shake hands with Bill Jones and their director of operations. And um, then after I finish um, with all the individual awards, we have facility awards that are given out in different areas and of. Um, of performance. Great. So I um, want to hear about what the ceremony was like for each of you, but what we're going to do first is take a break and see some actual footage from last year's award ceremony. So um, we'll be right back. Tonight, we're celebrating the outstanding accomplishments of our staff and affiliates across Berkshire Healthcare who have distinguished themselves as role models of our core values and leaders in pursuit of our vision. To the honorees, uh, just tremendous congratulations. 
Uh, you and your family should be so proud of uh, what you have accomplished within the Berkshire Healthcare family. We are uh, given the task of taking care of, in many cases, our most precious uh, family, our mothers, our fathers, whatever it might be. And, uh, and you do so well, and you're so committed. And it's the reason that Berkshire Healthcare is so successful, is because uh, you are Berkshire Healthcare. I do it all with a smile knowing that I make a difference. No matter what title I hold, I make sure I still have hands-on time with the residents. They are why I am here. I come to work because I feel like I'm the only family some of these residents have. It's so easy to get attached to them. While the work is certainly challenging, the smiles and the thank yous from the residents make it possible to deal with the not so good moments. Amanda established a special connection with a resident who had had multiple strokes. He disliked hands-on care, often angry and frustrated. Amanda approached this resident in a consistent, upbeat manner. She shared a few jokes when she saw him. She connected with him in a special way and was able to figure out how he wanted things done. Then she was able to share this with her others who would follow suit. Eventually, the resident stopped being so resistive to care. As more time went on, he came out of his shell and became a real part of the unit. This is what we call exceptional resident-centered care. Both Amanda and her resident blossomed in this friendship based on trust, compassion, and consistency. Please help me honor Amanda. Whether he's serving food or fishing, Baran's dedication to his residents and coworkers always shines through. Please help me honor Baran. We admire each of you for bringing our mission and vision to life every day. It's your dedication to teamwork, your commitment to excellence and stewardship, your compassion, talent, and integrity that are the core values that will lead this organization to reach collective excellence in the areas of quality, workforce development, and fiscal health that we strive for. They are actively engaged in raising the bar and creating real urgency for themselves and others that is spreading across this organization as we pursue and achieve our goals. They are compassionate and caring people who have a genuine respect for our patients and residents. They personify everything that is great about Berkshire Healthcare and we're proud to honor them here tonight. Um, last year's award ceremony. So I'd like to ask our award ceremony what our winners, what the award ceremony was like for them for this past year. So Mary Kate, what was what was it like being at that award ceremony this year? It was a lot of fun. I was very proud. I had my family there uh, and I get to introduce them to my uh, co-workers and um, to the management team as well. It was just so humbling to hear all the other stories and to realize that They'd put me in the same category with people that were so special and, and thoughtful. It was really great, very memorable. What about you, Estelle? What was the ceremony like for you? Uh, it, it was just wonderful um, to go in and see all these people there. You know, I know they've come to honor you and others. You know, it, it's it's just such a great thing to have happen. And the best thing for me was I got to see the lady that hired me for. Berkshire Health Systems for a nursing home back in 1992. So I went over to her and I said, do you remember me? She said, of course I do, Estelle. I said, I just wanted to thank you for giving me my start with Berkshire Health Systems. So I've been there since. So, you know, we hugged. It was very, very nice, very nice to see people that you haven't seen in years, you know, and we're all there for the, the same thing. It was beautiful. I, just, I couldn't elaborate more. Just beautiful. And Debbie, it sounds like winners can bring as many guests as they'd like to to the award ceremony. Absolutely, they, they bring as many family members, friends, co-workers I'd like to bring. I mean, Estelle, I think you brought um, 10? Well, oh, close to it, maybe. Close to 10? <laughs> close to it. 
<laughs> you know, so we encourage that. We think it's great. I think it's great to have them there to see them and to meet, like Mary Kate said, meet, get a chance to meet your coworkers, meet your supervisors, and they really wouldn't have any other venue to do that. And, and I know how moving it is for everybody to hear those stories. And I had heard a story about a husband of one of the winners who was mm. just so moved um, that he actually stood up to speak to everybody at his table. He did. He did. He was so moved by not only the story of his wife that we spoke to, but um, the, the affiliate um, that was represented, you know, won quite a few awards. And he, at the end, he just stood up to the, in front of the whole group and said how proud he was, not only of just his wife, but, you know, the organization and, and the affiliate that she worked for. It was, it was nice. And we heard a lot of that, that people were just so proud to be part of an organization that recognizes award winners mm -hmm. um, like we do. So, Debbie, how many people have actually been nominated throughout the years, and how many people have actually won? Um, over the past six years, we've had about 700 um, individuals nominated, wow. employees nominated. And of the 700, we've had about 250 winners. So it's, like I said, it's, it's a daunting task. It's very difficult to be on the committee and, and select those winners. But um, like I said earlier, it's obvious that you know, our core values are in action. And they're truly special people, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So Mary Kate, how did your colleagues react when they found out that you had won the award? They were really excited, very positive. They were happy. Um, smiles and, and hugs. And yeah, they were just really great. Were they Very complimentary. Have they joked around with you more? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm talking about I'm, I'm going to be famous. <laughs> <laughs> and Estella, how about you? How did your coworkers oh, react? Oh, God. Uh, they've, uh, they've been teasing me ever since. I'm a, <laughs> uh, a TV star. And, but, you know, they were happy for me. And I brought in the award, and I showed it to them. And I took it around to residents, showed them. You know, I thanked them that this is what they helped me to win, you know, this beautiful award, and explained it to them. And, you know, they were happy for me. They really were. You know, a lot of people just saying, oh, you deserve it, you deserve it. I'm saying, well, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's just wonderful. That, that's it. <laughs> and Mary Kate, how did your residents react when you told them that, that you had won? They were really excited. Uh, I really heard what was important to them, uh, you know, what we bring to them that makes a difference in their life. And uh, that was great to hear. You know, just to see really how moving it was for them, you know, that they're able to receive uh, such good things, you know, in our care and that they can also give back to, so. And they appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. So, Debbie, we've heard that the process for choosing the award winners is rigorous, um, mm -hmm. but what does it actually look like? Well, there's a committee. There's a committee that reviews all the nominations, and we look at them on a quarterly basis. So we, we meet, review them, and really look for how the employee demonstrates uh, the stories that go along um, with uh, the, the, um, the, the core values of, of integrity, compassion, excellence, stewardship, and, um, and teamwork, and, and look for those examples um, and try to make those connections. Um, but again, it's like I mentioned, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard to do because we get so many nominations and we get a lot of nominations that talk about the great work that people are doing, but it's those extra special ones that we're looking for, the exceptional um, nominations. And what happens when people are nominated and then what happens when they actually win? Well, everybody receives a letter from me at first who were nominated saying that you were nominated. Um, it may be from your coworkers, friends, family member, you know, resident. Um, and then about a few weeks later, like they mentioned, um, the winners, we, we, we actually send out another letter um, and the winners are selected there. But everybody receives something. Everybody receives a box of chocolates and um, they get their letter whether they won or not. Um, and then they're all invited to join the celebration that we have every March. To receive their award mm -hmm. and, and a special gift. So. Mm -hmm. um, We've heard about how um, Berkshire Healthcare is able to award staff who demonstrate mission, vision, and values, and what it looks like for uh, an LPN and for a CNA, but can you give us some examples of a, what award winners have done who are in other positions and what that would look like? Well, I mean, I think um, you probably wouldn't expect a dietary aid, for example. You would think they would spend most of their time in the kitchen and you know, you know helping prepare the food or washing dishes. Um, but you never always hear about that diet aide who goes out and develops relationships with the residents. Um, a resident who didn't have any family and, and this diet aide realized that. So um, 
she was able to, you know, strike up a relationship. She got trained even further to help with his ambulation, take him outside. But, um, you know, it's it's that kind of a story. Or um, a housekeeper um, who uh, for stewardship who may find a better way of a um, more cost-effective way of, of doing something who also comes in on the weekends with the with with their dog to visit the residents um, a resident who loves animals and misses their dog at home so um, you know it's it's really it's everybody across the the organization that has these special stories and um, what kind of planning goes into the ceremony a lot of planning. Um, <laughs> if you ask my assistant, she'll tell you it's like planning a wedding. Um, it's worse than planning a wedding, um, but there is a lot that has to go in. Everything from you know just the the planning the banquet, you know, the, the, to the um, the beautiful um, booklet that we put together that people can take home, as well as you know the ordering all of the, um, the the crystal you know um, award the the, the awards that we have. Um, they all receive a gift, so uh, a lot goes into it, um, a lot more than you probably I can think of right now, but it's usually a, a good, you know, six-month process to make sure that we get it right, because we want to make it special. We want to make it extra special. Um, had an employee last year uh, who, uh, from the affiliates that we have out across the state, who, it was his first time staying in a hotel. He had never stayed in a hotel before, so we had, he, could, he had to stay the night because it was so late, you know. Um, but. It's those kinds of things. And have you already started planning for next year's yeah, ceremony? For planning <laughs> the date, yes, save the date. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I want to ask our award winners if winning this award has changed your outlook on your job, Mary Kate, do you look at things differently? I do. I do. I feel uh, more solidified in the company. I feel very sure that this is where I want to be. I, I'm really happy that, you know, it all took place and that I got the experience and um, that I get to work for the company, you know, that is making such great changes and that is really, you know, putting things in a good perspective. How about you, Estelle? Has this changed your outlook on your job? Um, I don't know. Nah, I, I don't think really. I mean, I've been with the company for 20 years. I plan on staying and doing as long as I can. I might even end up there. You never <laughs> know. But um, in some ways, you know, it, it, seeing what the other people did and all those special things that they did, you know, it makes me strive more to try to do a little more each day. And as long as you know when you leave that you've done the best that you could, you're good. Good. Thank you. And Debbie, have you seen any trends over the years in terms of the number of nominees and the number of award winners? Um, it's been fairly consistent over the years. Um, what we've seen is the quality of the nominations. Um, they're, they're, they really, um, as we're moving forward, uh, the, the, the stories are very powerful and the connections to our vision and our mission and our values is what's been, what's been different. But, you know, as far as numbers, that's pretty been consistent. Okay. And in your opinion, has it changed the culture of Ber Berkshire Healthcare? I believe so. Um, I believe it has. Um, it's uh, just, it reinforces what we're all about in, in recognizing um, it, all those special, you know, staff members that we have that work for us. And it really helps build relationships and it, um, helps us improve our performance across the organization. And um, I think it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful way that we can say thank you back to, to the people that we rely on to provide the care to, uh, to the residents. And I, <clears throat> we had talked about, you had received an email from a dietary manager who had heard about the award ceremony, um, but who hadn't been able to be there until this past year. And can you tell us what she had said after, afterwards? Well, afterwards, she had said, you know, she's always heard about the profile and care, and she's known that people have gone and they've won, but it wasn't until she actually went and witnessed it and saw it and, and, and actually felt it. She felt, she felt empowered as a manager. She felt like um, it was motivating and inspiring to go back and, and, and tell, you know, her staff about it, about it as well. Sounds like everybody who attends is moved and that feeling is really contagious mm -hmm. too throughout the organization. Mm -hmm. So congratulations again, Mary Kate and Estelle. Thank and you. Thank, thank you all for being here. Thank you for having thank me. You. Thank you. This has been InfoSource, a presentation of Berkshire Healthcare Systems.